you guys saw how exhausted I was yesterday. So, you know, I was planning on doing like a couple hours of research and doing like a vitamin C video tomorrow, but uh, I kind of just wanted to take it easy. So I figured I could show you guys like my Frankie's Naturals production stuff, my organ supplements production stuff, basically what I do on a day-to-day -day basis that you guys haven't really seen in my vlogs. Uh, so today I actually have to make some moisturizer cream and uh, my father and sister are kind enough to help me out with you know labeling uh, the Liz and stuff, just some of the grunt work and um, making the cream itself right now, I'm mixing some stuff together. Uh, what actually ends up happening is I'll make like four to 500 moisturizing creams and I won't push any sales and it'll be too humid. And after like three to four months of the moisturizing cream sitting, it'll start molding. And that's the problem with using like really natural minimal ingredients is that I have to make the moisturizer cream constantly and frequently so, so that you know, it's kind of in like its optimal state for you guys. So uh, the reason I wanted to show you guys the moisturizing cream today is because it's excellent for tanning. It has vitamin D in it, vitamin C, vitamin K2, a bunch of different nutrients that are conducive to your skin tanning. Uh, I remember when I was going to the tanning bed and I couldn't get my feet to tan evenly with the rest of my body. I just rubbed this cream on it. And even if you guys aren't using this moisturizing cream, uh, my recommendation is to get a vitamin D3 supplement because it seems to activate the melanin receptors in your skin and, uh, and you tan a lot quicker and easier. Uh, so today we're just doing the moisturizing cream. So I've already mixed up pretty much everything. I actually just you know, paused in the middle of this to, to show you guys this. So I gotta, I gotta get back to filling these containers up. Uh, but I do every single thing myself. You know, this is a mixture of water-soluble vitamins. This is a mixture of fat-soluble vitamins. Uh, that was just a pot I was using uh, previously. Um, this is a mixture of the fat base. This is the completed moisturizing cream that I'm uh, putting over here right now. Uh, so I'll show you guys the texture of this when it's done. It's really, really creamy and smooth and uh, you guys will like it. Hi, YouTube people. I actually you know, so do you, I have a question for you. Do you like my brother with, with um, his hair up in a man bun or do you like it wild and curly? That's a good question, Gina. They call me a little fairy boy, sissy lala boy when I have a man bun, so. Personally, we'll, we'll I, think, I think, think my brother is very handsome. He's the hotter version of me. So labeling isn't so bad, Gina, but you weren't too enthusiastic when we started. I was like, yay, it's fun. Okay. Gives me something to do. So a lot of the time people are always focusing on the positives in regards to their diet and nutrition and lifestyle. And most of the time it's more about removing the negative. So in the case of my, you know, hygiene and cosmetic products, aluminum free deodorant, fluoride free tooth powder, you know, minimal ingredients, the lip balm is free of any, you know, synthetic chemicals, the moisturizing cream is free of any synthetic chemicals. It's more about what negatives aren't in your lifestyle as opposed to trying to incorporate an overwhelming amount of positives. And once you master those two things, the negative and the positive, that's where you'll start seeing drastic improvements in your health. And it's just ridiculous how they're poisoning everything from our water to our deodorant, to our toothpaste, to our food. So it took my dad and my sister like maybe 45 minutes to just do all the labels for the lids. I also usually do that myself when I'm packing the orders, but you know, that saved me quite a bit of time. So all the moisturizing cream is packed up. Most of it is dried already. Some of it is still drying off a little bit. The ones I just did, uh, we have a little bit of a mess, not too much to clean up. And I had to take out some extra tins because I usually calculate everything pretty accurately, but you know, usually there's maybe you know five to ten extra moisturizing cream tins and if you guys haven't seen the consistency of my moisturizing cream it's really awesome um, so you know to get a texture like this without any synthetic fillers or additives is very very difficult to do and that's why I'm I'm really proud of my product and I usually put this oh, I just got it on my microphone great uh, I usually just put this stuff on my feet when I tan and, and just to moisturize the bottom of my feet throughout the day you know I usually have like a tin of this in my bathroom because I put it on my feet right before I put my socks on you know because I don't want to you know walk around and get you know grease everywhere but this is a really great product not only are you you know moisturizing your skin you're getting vitamins and you can accelerate tanning as well and this like secret foot fetish thing <laughs> taken off YouTube for showing my feet. So let me show you guys the moldy ones actually. So this is where most of my stuff is. This is where I kind of pack my orders. It's a bit, bit of a mess. These are the ones I had to get rid of and throw out so far. Um, I still have to probably throw these out too. So 
Now over like probably 200 went to waste, which is a pain. A lot of work, some work and money down the drain, but yeah, you, know, you guys can see it's not that bad. You know, I mean, I would personally use this myself, but obviously it's not a product I can send to people. And uh, this last batch of moisturizing cream had a lower water content. Um, you know, this was actually a much poorer texture than what I have now that I'm uh, the fresh batch I made for you guys. So uh, unfortunately, no wasted time, wasted money, but Frankie's on the quality control. So you guys are always getting the best stuff. This is just a bunch of uh, supplies, a bunch of equipment. Um, like all the all the different powders and oils and vitamins that I mix into the moisturizing cream. And then down here I have pretty much all of my supplies for, for everything else. Uh, my organ supplement stuff is over there. Uh, so you know, not, not a crazy amount of stuff, but I'm definitely taking up more space than I want to. So I've been trying to get my products on Amazon for Frankie's Naturals for like two, three, four months now. And yeah, everything on Amazon is a ridiculous process. You have to send in like manufacturing notes. The labels have to be a certain way. The product has to be a certain way. And then when I figured out that I can list on Amazon, it was like they want to take like two fifty to three dollars and fifty cents per item I sell. So if I'm selling a deodorant for you know twelve, thirteen, fourteen bucks, and I have to pay them three to four dollars. And I have to pay two, three dollars to ship it, and it costs me, you know, four, five, six dollars to make. I don't make any money on Amazon. I literally break even. So Amazon is probably not going to fly for the Frankie's Naturals products at the moment. But I prefer to sell on the website anyway because, you know, I do make more money. And not only do I make more money on my website, I can sell the product for cheaper, give people discounts, and make more money. So not only do I make more money? You know, people get the product for a cheaper and more affordable price, and I can kind of control it every step of the way. You know, I had a couple of problems with Amazon with the organ supplement stuff. You know, one person lied that the product wasn't new. You know, it had a plastic seal on it, and the person that bought off me on Amazon lied and said, "Oh well, the vitamin D and the vitamin K I bought wasn't new." And Amazon took my products down, and I, I never got them back up. So you know, when I put anything in the hands of someone else, it's obviously not a good thing. But uh, I did want to talk to you guys briefly about the current products that we have on Frankie's Naturals. A couple of things have changed. Uh, what hasn't changed is the African black soap. Um, you know, we did a video like, I don't know, four, five, six months ago where I actually showed you guys using all of my products. Uh, so if you want to use that video as a reference for this, that's what I suggest. Uh, this is African black soap. I don't make this myself because it's very difficult to make. But you guys were always asking me a soap, so I did get it for you. No one really sells this in portion sizes like this because honestly, it's not profitable. But I figured, you know, I might as well, you know, throw one in a in a package for you guys if you guys are ordering other stuff anyway. Uh, we do have new lip balm containers, and it's unscented now. So the previous lip balm was in a black container, and it was spearmint flavored. Uh, now we have an unscented lip balm in a white container. It's pretty much just beef tallow and beeswax. Uh, really, really minimal, you know, as, as with everything I do. Minimally ingredient, minimally processed. One tube of this lip balm lasts like two, three, four months, depending on how much you use it, and it only costs $3. So, you know, the thing about these store-bought lip balms is they're actually designed so that you use them up a lot and they dry off quickly. If you put this, you know, beef tallow lip balm on your lips, it'll literally stay for, you know, two, three, four, five hours. So. You only have to apply it once or twice per day and it lasts an incredibly long time. Uh, same with all my other products, you know. Uh, the moisturizing cream and the hair pomade do have to be used a lot more than everything else. Uh, so one thing that I really didn't like when I was styling my hair was all of these pomades were so expensive, like 15, 20 bucks each, and you had to use one container a week. Uh, my container is, you know, maybe last two to three weeks, except it's all natural ingredients. It's like literally like three to four ingredients, whereas all of these other ones on Amazon have like nine, 10, 15, 20 different things. So this is the only natural hair pomade I'm aware of. And I, I should really get this on Amazon and sell it because it's, a, it's, it's an amazing product. It smells really good. I think the scent, I can't remember if the scent is sandalwood or what it is, but it's like a very like masculine, like woody scent. And no, I really like it. And every time, every time I put this in my hair, I really, really, really like the smell. Um, it doesn't wash out easily though, so you know if you put this pomade in your hair, be prepared, you know, to have it in your hair for at least a couple days. 
So this pomade works really well for people that like style their hair every day and, and want to have a consistent look. Uh, the tooth powder we have is, you know, basically a fluoride free remineralizing powder. So this has clay in it, magnesium, calcium, uh, a bunch of other things to remineralize. And it also has like xylitol in it and a little bit of peppermint so that it tastes good. Uh, so this is something you can use for your kids, you can use for yourself. Uh, I didn't put the labels on it yet and I have uh, a bunch of different labels for these products depending on whether I want to put them on Amazon or my shop. Uh, but you know, every, everything is equally popular. Um, I would say if anything, the pomade is the least popular because not everyone styles their hair. Uh, we are out of the deodorant, but just like the lip balm, the deodorant lasts a really, really long time. Uh, same with the tooth powder. The tooth powder, deodorant, lip balm, all last like two, three, four, five months. So the amount of money you save, <laughs> honestly, I, gotta, I, gotta, honestly I, sh I just have to design these products so you guys use them up quicker because, I mean, it, it's, it's a good thing and a bad thing, I guess, right? I, someone has to have some integrity, right? Someone has to have some integrity. Uh, so, yeah, the deodorant literally lasts three, four, five months. You get one container of this tooth powder, one container of this deodorant. You'll have that in your bathroom, and that's all you'll be using. And it's like, it just, it's so easy, and you know it's a natural product, and you feel good using it. Uh, the moisturizing cream, though, which is, you know, the one we just showed over there, is meant to be used on a weekly basis because the amount of vitamin D3 that I put in the moisturizing cream is corresponding to, like, a daily dose of sun if you were to use one container every seven days. So, you know, if you're like lathering yourself up, going to the beach and using my moisturizing cream, like one container on a weekly basis, that would be like your maximum sun exposure obtained just from the cream. Uh, but, you know, I think it's better if most people just use like one or two containers a month, maybe as a normal moisturizer when you do decide to go tan and just, you know, keep, keep the nutrients in your diet, keep the nutrients everywhere else. You know, so we don't really have a lot of products, six total. I know you guys have been asking me for a shampoo. That's really the last thing that I'd have to work on. I mean, you can technically use the black soap as a shampoo, although that's you know definitely not ideal. Uh, but I'll think of something. You know, as you guys see, I'm making this stuff in my parents' house. I'm shipping this stuff out of my parents' house. I used to do this um, down in an apartment, but I just ran out of space when I bought all the organ supplement stuff. You know, it was literally like 30, 40 giant UPS boxes worth of supplements, and I had nowhere to store them, so I had to put everything back up here and floors up here. And I mean, I'm not really making enough money to be able to, you know, rent out a space and do everything in a space. So uh, hopefully when, you know, I get approved for a loan or something, or, you know, we can get to the, the farm property later this year, things will be a little bit easier. Maybe we can ramp up sales a little bit. Uh, oh, I'm gonna take the shipping charges off for domestic. So if you guys are ordering internationally, you're still gonna have to pay but I will make it free shipping in the United States. Uh, so everything's gonna be on frankiesnaturals.com. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to cover for you guys today. Yeah, I really wanted to do that, you know, vitamin C video and, and do the research on vitamin C, but I'm over it. <laughs> I'm so sick of, uh, you know, it, it, it sucks because, you know, you guys see what I'm doing today. You know, I, I mean, all I did is wake up, eat for bodybuilding. I didn't even wanna eat. You know, I forced myself to eat because I know I gotta do this bodybuilding stuff. I spent three, four hours making moisturizing cream. Now I'm gonna spend, you know, two, three hours writing and editing video scripts and doing a bunch of work on my computer, answering emails for Frankie's Strange Meat. Uh, I still gotta finish up the moisturizing cream and the other products. I gotta make deodorant tomorrow. You know, all the stuff I do on a day-to-day -day basis on top of the YouTube. And I wouldn't have a problem, you know, back in early 2019, when I was making these educational videos, you know, I was getting you know, 15, 20, 25,000 views. You know, the videos were getting in the algorithm, the videos were getting shared, and it's getting to a point where I'm like, why do I bother giving away information that no one else does the research on or no one else wants to reveal? And I get, you know, five, six, 7,000 views, and then three, four months later, someone else makes a video on the same topic, uses half of my information, and it's not nearly as in-depth, and it's and they do way better, and they sell a the product. So, you know, part of me really, really enjoys researching understanding things and then and then sharing that information with you guys but unfortunately you know youtube and the other influencers on this platform have kind of spoiled it so to speak kitchen's mostly cleaned up you know we packaged up all of the moisturizing cream uh, i think the total count is maybe 215 ish uh, i have materials for a lot more moisturizing cream if i want to make it and i also have 
quite a bit of ingredients for deodorant. So I've been really debating on whether I want to do the deodorant today or not. I think I will. I mean, it's like four o'clock now. I have to do a business call in about an hour. And I've been going back and forth between 200 deodorant versus 500 deodorant. You know, obviously if I make 500 things of deodorant, you know, I mean, it's not really less work doing it all at once because it's, you know, it's really just a little bit of time saved on cleanup and setup. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is instead of saving the deodorant for tomorrow, uh, I'll make it today and uh, pack up 200 so I don't have to make any products for, you know, a couple weeks for Frankie's Naturals. I mean, hypothetically, I do this like every week, you know, I've only had to do this stuff maybe once every two or three months. But, you know, I mean, obviously production can ramp up a lot and, you know, I mean, I could literally be doing this every single day if, if the sales volume was high enough. You know, by no means am I anywhere near, you know, my maximum working capacity, despite, you know, feeling like I'm going to die every day. But, um, let's get, uh, let's get the tins out again and, uh, let's make this deodorant. I'm probably going to be able to get the tin set up and I'll have the ingredients measured out in the pots. Oh, actually it's already almost 4.30, so... I should be able to get the tin set up and the ingredients measured out, or at least out in the pots. Then we'll do the business call, and then we'll come down and and we'll you know we'll be done working by like seven or eight o'clock at night. So then then I can work out and um, and have my second meal maybe. And then I'll answer some emails and I'll write some video scripts. Uh, I mean that's you know every every day it's just work all day, guys. Like I do have some fun time to time. Like I, I check my text messages. I you know maybe comment on social media posts. Maybe I'll occasionally watch some YouTube videos. But it's really just. Uh, you know, every single day, all day, I'm doing things pertaining to my business, and uh, if I do move to this farm, it'll probably be even more intense. So we'll see. Eventually, the hard work will pay off. So it only took about like 10 minutes to get all 200 of these out. So I'm gonna just clean this stuff up a little bit. We'll get our deodorant ingredients out here, and then we'll call that supplement company at five o'clock. One thing you guys don't really get to see is the amount of time I spend thinking and calculating a lot of this stuff and whether it's formulas for my supplement products, formulas for my hygiene products, you know, whatever I'm doing on Frankie's Naturals, you know, there, there's a little bit of math involved, there's a little bit of thinking and experimenting, but um, it, it's safe to say that there's a reason not everyone is selling products online and doing a, a good job at it. So if you guys have tried our deodorant before, you'll know it's just shea butter, baking soda, lemongrass. Uh, we're actually going to omit the baking soda this time. I know a lot of you guys were asking for like baking soda free deodorant and although I don't have a problem using baking soda in the deodorant apparently it does irritate some people so you know if you guys have been avoiding it because of the baking soda uh, you can definitely try it out now. So this has been taking me a lot longer than I thought it's almost 7 o'clock now that's 20 minutes fast because my parents are cuckoo. Uh, so the new formula was actually like a little bit different so you know, the, the mixture is a lot thicker than normal, so it's a pain to pour. Now, as you guys can see, compared to the moisturizing cream, there's like mounds on top here, so it's just going to, you know, take me longer to smooth this out and get it set up. So hopefully I get to bed before 5 a.m. today. Just finished pouring the deodorant. It's about 7.30, and I was just like so tired, exhausted, and patient. I overfilled a lot of them. I spilled some of them over, so I'm going to have to wait for them to cool off, probably about an hour or two. Then I'm going to have to scrape most of them off to get the lids on properly. Uh, so I'm probably not going to be done until 10 p.m. And uh, I'm not going to really film the rest of that stuff. You guys have the general gist of it. I, I mix everything together. I get it into containers. I let it cool off. I, I wrap it up. I pack it, uh, you know, with my specific formulas. So uh, that's going to be it for production today. And uh, I'm definitely going to lose my mind sometime this month. Or, well, May is almost over. So sometime in June, I'll lose my mind. If you guys want to support me, we do have all these products you guys can purchase. And, uh... You know, we'll see how things go over the next few months. You know, Frankie's Naturals has grown exponentially from where it started. Uh, I would say it, it's definitely at like a stunted point of growth where we are now. But, you know, I think if I add a shampoo product and we do some more sales and we push a little bit, we'll be in a good spot. There is no one else selling products with as few ingredients, as high quality, and every single thing works. You know, I tell people with my diets, with my supplements, every single time, if something doesn't work, stop doing it. In all of my businesses, Organ Supplements, Frankie's Syringe Meat, Frankie's Naturals, I've only had a handful of unhappy customers and we always refund things and we always make things right. So if you guys want to support me, if you guys want to learn more, you know, just drop a comment down below. Honestly, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really care if you guys buy this stuff. I just, 
I just needed to post a video today and I didn't want to miss another day, but I'm just so exhausted and I don't want to have to, to film. And I mean, guys, I have literally like, like probably 10 video scripts I could do videos on, but they're all kind of like controversial topics that might rub some people the wrong way. And you know, with what's going on right now with this lockdown nonsense and how many of my videos are getting censored and I literally like can't talk about anything. It's kind of silly, uh, but whatever. It's a beautiful day outside. A little cloudy, so I didn't get any sun, but uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, let me know if you have any any video ideas, anything you guys would like to see tomorrow. What is it? It's Thursday, so we'll do something from Ultra Friday. You guys enjoy the rest of your night.